Hi there gorgeous and a very happy drugstore December to you. If you have not heard, every video coming out this entire month is drugstore themed. So if you'd like to be notified of new videos like this one in the future, please subscribe and thank you in advance if you do. Today I'm sharing my top 10 eyeshadow palettes all under $10. These were some of the best I discovered over this past year. I'll be showing you each one up close with swatches and I've also included a mini tutorial for each of these palettes also. So if you're looking for some inspiration or a new way to wear this palette, whether you get it or you already have it, I hope you'll find this helpful. First bargain find that I wanted to share with you is a palette that you can find from Academy of Colors. This is their Nudes palette. Nine eyeshadows total in here, four of them are shimmer, five of them are matte. And it's a great neutral theme, excellent quality, color payoff is exceptional with this palette. And I found this brand at Kohl's. If you're in the Florida area, I, I don't know if they're outside of Florida, but Kohl's is usually the place where I find this. If I'm able to find it linked online, I'll have it listed for you below also. To create the look with this palette, I first took this light brown eyeshadow, applied it into the crease, and you can see what I mean there with the color payoff. Incredibly vibrant, a little bit goes a long way, and it's you would not be disappointed in the quality with this palette. Then I took this light silver eyeshadow and applied it to the inner half of the lid. And typically I would apply an eyeshadow like this wet, but this is being applied dry. So again, you can really see the quality that you get with these eyeshadows. Then I took the darker gray and applied this to the outer third of the lid. Really beautiful application, great contrast between the shades. And then finally, I finished up the look with this dark brown and applied it into the outer V. Very easy to blend these eyeshadows no difficulty with application whatsoever. And if you're interested in the lipstick and lashes that I'm wearing with each of these looks, I will have all of that information listed for you below in the description box also. The next palette that I wanted to share with you is from the Sea Color Cosmetics brand. There are a couple palettes that I discovered from them this past year that are dupes for higher end palettes, but I ended up loving the quality of their eyeshadow palettes. They are superb. So if you're looking to save some money, and you want excellent quality, you would not be disappointed in these palettes. The first one is their Savannah palette. This is a dupe for a Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette. Which one, the name escapes me at the moment. I'll try to have it pop up on the screen here as I remember, but this is an all matte eyeshadow palette. A lot of really excellent cool tones and warm tones can be found within this palette. I like that there's a mixture of all different kinds of colors in here. And if you're looking for a way to add color in slowly, then this is a really excellent palette because it's still got those hints of neutral, but pops of color that you can incorporate into your look. So to create the look with this palette, I first took this light camel shade, applied it into the crease. Beautiful color payoff. Once again, exceptional results with these eyeshadows. A very creamy, smooth formula with all the mattes within this palette. And I took the medium brown gray and I used this to deepen the crease. And I remember on the day that I was filming this tutorial, I did want a more cool toned look from this palette because I'm showing you a lot of warm looks in this video. So I wanted to change it up a little bit and I just love how all these colors blended together. Then I took the light gray, applied it to the inner half of the lid. Finally, taking that darker gray, I applied this into the outer V and blended it onto the outer third of the lid. And you can see what I mean. Those colors melt into one another so beautifully. For the price that you pay for this, it's amazing the quality that you get. So if you've not tried Sea Color Cosmetics, I would highly recommend checking out their eyeshadow palettes. I've not tried anything else from them, so I can't speak about any other products, but if you're interested, I'll have their website listed for you below. Unfortunately, you cannot find them in stores. And while we're on the topic of Sea Color Cosmetics, we'll talk about their Golden Palette, which is a dupe for Natasha Denona's Gold Palette. There was a lot of golden themes being released in makeup in the second half of 2019, and I feel like that's why this palette became as popular as it did. And what I liked about it was that it had these pops of greens in there to change it up and give it something a little different. And the quality, again, like the Savannah palette, excellent with this palette. The shimmers perform extremely well. The mattes are exceptional. Another quality palette 
that you would not be disappointed in. And to create the look with this palette, this is one that I showed previously when I first talked about this. I think it was a couple months ago when I introduced this palette in a drugstore must-haves, must-nots video. This is the same look that I created and showed in that video, so it's a repeat if you did happen to catch that one. But to create the look, I used the dark brown eyeshadow to deepen the crease. I also applied this on the inner and outer third of the lid, so I'm basically creating a halo eye with that eyeshadow, laying down the foundation there. Then I took the medium camel shade from this palette and I used that to blend out the edges of that deeper crease color and soften any harsh lines blending it towards the brow bone. Finally, taking this medium shimmery green, I applied it wet to the center of the lid to give the eyes a real pop of color, and it totally transforms the entire look. I really love this look with this palette. That was one of those looks that I wore in a video this past year, and when I wore it, I got so many requests for a tutorial on it, so I'm so happy that so many of you liked it, and that it was with a really inexpensive palette that is of sound quality. Another palette that I have to recommend to you is one that I discovered from Hard Candy, and I am doing a comparison with this one with a higher end palette for one of the videos for Dupe It December. It may publish before this video, it may not. At any rate, I'll have it linked for you below as soon as it is available. And this is Hard Candy's Blushing Nudes Palette. This is one that was recommended to me by a subscriber and she asked me to compare it to Huda Beauty's New Nudes Palette. I do think that video will be published by the time that you're seeing this one, so this won't be a spoiler unless you haven't seen that video, but it is an exact dupe for the Huda New Nudes palette. It was the one that I was most impressed by this year, both standing by itself and also as a dupe for the Huda palette because I've tried a number of hard candy eyeshadow palettes in the past and they've all disappointed me. I found the eyeshadows to be chalky, unpigmented, hard to work with, hard to blend, they disappear on application. And so I never really wanted to try any more of their eyeshadow palettes. And when a subscriber asked me to try this one, I was like, I was thinking, oh, I don't know. But I'm really, really glad that I did because they've done something different with this palette. The formula is much better than anything I've tried from them in the past. And this, my experience with this palette alone makes me wanna go back and try some of their more new palettes. So if you've been disappointed by them in the past, give them another shot because they did a really excellent job with this palette. And I hope that this quality continues in their eyeshadow palettes. To create the look with this palette, you first take this light peachy tan and apply it into the crease. And this is a very warm palette, by the way. So the eyeshadows are not shy and you can see how pigmented they are too. Extreme quality here, I was most happy with to see that. And then I took this deeper warm brown and I used it to define the crease and the outer V, really blending that. Then I took this dark magenta plum and I used that on the outer third of the lid and the outer V. So I'm basically going over the same area where I had applied the second eyeshadow in the same manner with this deeper shade. And I did that to add a lot of depth into the look. And I also blended this onto the lid itself. Finally, taking this duochrome peachy pink, oh, this is such a beautiful eyeshadow, it just transforms itself depending on how the light hits it. I applied this onto the inner half of the lid. I did apply it wet simply because it is a more shimmery eyeshadow and typically it likes to move around the eye, but when you apply it wet, it helps to hold it in place and keep everything intact. A beautiful look. And again, if you're looking for another tutorial with this palette, I'll have the comparison video that I did with it and the Huda palette so you can get another tutorial if you happen to pick this one up. But again, you would not be disappointed in it. It was fabulous. Another palette that I discovered this past year that really impressed me is from Catrice Cosmetics. This is their The Blazing Bronze eyeshadow palette in the shade Call It What You Want. Now this video is being filmed ahead of time. As many of you know, I did a whole two weeks worth of drugstore December videos ahead of my maternity leave so that you would <laughs> still have something to watch and it wouldn't be gone completely from YouTube. But this was a look that I was wearing in a November video and I had a lot of requests on how I got this look. And this is the palette that I used to create it. And that look was absolutely beautiful, by the way. I did not want to wash it off. But to create that look, I used the shade 
light on the inner half of the lid. And this is a light lilac white. It's a really beautiful eyeshadow and has excellent color payoff, as you can see there. Then I took the deeper purple from this palette and applied it to the outer half of the lid and blended it up into the outer V. And I will just tell you, I was not expecting this to be a good palette simply because palettes like this in the past have disappointed me, but I was most impressed with the quality that I got with these eyeshadows. Finally, I went back with the light brown shade and I used that to blend out the edges and pull the whole look together. Amazing, amazing. And this is another one that has some warm tones in it, but it also has those cool tones to help balance it out. So I feel like you get a little bit of everything in this palette and the price extremely affordable with this one. So another excellent buy. Another palette that I would recommend to you that was wonderful this past year, again, from the C Color Cosmetics brand, is the Fairy Tale palette. This is an exact dupe for the Too Faced Clover palette, and I compared the two earlier this past year. If you happen to miss that video, I'll have it linked for you below, and I can't even begin to tell you how ecstatic I was when I saw this palette, and I discovered that it was a dupe for the Clover palette because I came out and told you my feelings on Too Faced, how I'm not supporting them anymore. I don't like the brand at all, the direction they've gone, and all of that. Won't get into it here, but I will just say that that is why I was most excited about this palette and it became one that I was using a lot since discovering it. And there are so many beautiful looks that you can create with this color range. And at this price point, again, you're given excellent quality. And to show you what I mean, this next look I'm about to show you is oh, one of my favorites and I absolutely love wearing this one. To create this look, I took the light mauve from this palette and I applied that into the crease. Beautiful, cool, neutral. It's a really great base for starting any look with this palette if you want to take a departure from the traditional browns that are typically used in a lot of looks. Then I took this deeper brown and I used that to deepen the outer crease and the outer V, add some dimension, add some depth to the look. Taking this shimmery deep brown, I went over the last eyeshadow, applied it to the outer half of the lid and the outer V. And this gives the look some added depth, gives a lot more emphasis to the eyes and really helps to pull up the outer corners of the eyes. Finally, I took this shimmery white eyeshadow and applied it onto the inner half of the lid. All of these eyeshadows blend into one another so easily. I also added a blackish brown smoky winged liner to that look, which really pulled the whole thing together. And again, it's one of my most favorite looks with this palette. So many excellent combinations that can be created with this one. So if you're looking for a look like that or the quality that I talked about with this color scheme, you would not be disappointed. The next palette I have to share with you is from the brand LA Girl. And this is a brand that like Hard Candy had disappointed me in the past and I didn't really want to try any of their palettes until a couple years ago when I happened to pick one up tried it out and I was most impressed by the quality. And ever since then, I've been really interested in trying more of their palettes and I haven't been disappointed. So it's nice to see that they have changed things up and made their formula much better. So this palette is their Nudes Beauty Brick. And this is one that when I received it in the mail, I immediately thought of Urban Decay's Naked 3 palette because the color scheme is very similar to it. And I did do a video comparing it to Naked 3. So if you happen to miss that, I'll have it linked for you below. I will just tell you that it's not an exact match to Urban Decay's palette shade for shade, but it is a great alternative if you like that color scheme that you get with Naked 3. And the looks that you can create with this palette are simply stunning. That is what I'm wearing in today's video. If you're curious about what's on my eyes, this is how you can recreate it for yourself with this palette. I first took the light mauve and I used it in the crease. It's not as pigmented as what you'll get with Urban Decay's palette and the eyeshadows are a bit more powdery, so they require a little bit more layering. But if you don't mind working with it, you do get beautiful results with it. Then I took this deeper mauve from the palette and I used that to deepen the crease and add a bit more definition into the look. Taking this deep smoky gray, I applied this to the outer third of the lid and blended it into the outer V. And the lighter shades are ones you have to layer a bit more, but the darker shades do really go on as pigmented as what you're seeing here. So I didn't struggle with those at all. Finally, I took this light shimmery pink and I applied it to the inner half of the lid. And this is an eyeshadow that I did apply wet 
to increase the vibrancy and get more intense color payoff with it. Beautiful look with that palette. So pretty, I didn't want to wash it off. And so <laughs> I didn't, and that's why I'm wearing it in this video. Another palette that I wanted to share with you is not one that was released in 2019, I don't think. It got released in late 2018, but it was still one that I was picking up a lot this past year, so that's why I'm including it with this video. And that is Wet n Wild's My Glamour Squad palette. And the quality with this one is ridiculously good. I created so many beautiful looks with this palette this past year that it's hard to just show you one, but there was a video that was released the first week of December that I'll have linked for you below. It was a $40 date night makeup tutorial and it used this palette. So if you're looking for a way to wear it, go to that video for some inspiration. And if I have the other videos, if I can find them from this past year where I use that palette, I'll have those listed for you below also if you would like to see some more looks using it. Next affordable palette I have to share with you is one from the I Love Revolution brand, which I believe is an extension of Revolution Beauty. If I'm wrong, please correct me, but that's my understanding of where this palette comes from. This is one of their mini eyeshadow palettes in the shade Nudes. You get five shimmers in this palette and three matte shades. And this is a great little neutral palette. Excellent for travel because of its small size. I just love how compact that is. To create the look with this palette, I used the medium brown at the top of the palette and applied this into the crease. Their matte formula is exceptional. You can see how easily it applies and blends. It's so easy to work with. Then I took this shimmery golden brown, applied it to the outer half of the lid. This is a very simple look. It's very easy to recreate, which is why I love it so much. And then I took this shimmery gold, applied it to the inner half of the lid. I did apply this wet for added vibrancy. And then finally, I took this dark brown, applied it to the outer V, and I also used the same shade to line the upper and lower lash lines and give the look a bit of a more smoky appearance. Beautiful color payoff, excellent price. One of those great little palettes to have on hand if you're looking for something that's compact or you just want something that's not a lot of fuss, won't take up a lot of room. It's a great option. The last palette that I have to share with you is one from the Beauty Creations brand and that is their Tease Me palette. This is one in the beginning of the year that I compared with the Huda New Nudes palette, I believe, and it was the closest dupe I found all year long until I stumbled across the Hard Candy Blushful Nudes palette that I shared with you earlier. But the quality with this was exceptional. It was one of those palettes that I discovered on Amazon, I believe. If you cannot find the Hard Candy palette, this is another great one to have. And it's a very warm palette. Like you can see there, it's extremely vibrant. You will not have any problems with color payoff, I can tell you that now. It's, it's just another really great palette, under $10, so I think it is $10 exactly, but excellent quality all the way around. If you're interested in any of the palettes that I shared with you here today, I'll have all of them listed and linked for you below. I will also try to have any videos where I featured some of these this past year listed below so that you can find more tutorials with them if you happen to pick any of these up and you would like more inspiration. Let me know your thoughts on these if you've had the opportunity to try any of them out or any others that I did not mention here today. Thank you for being here, for taking the time to watch, and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow for another video in Drugstore December.